Does your resume tell your reader that you were a cashier, you waited tables, interned in accounting, and made sure no one did anything illegal at a computer lab? It's great you've got some experience, but here's the bad news. No one cares, 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 cares. Much like walking into your dream job and screaming, hire me, through a bullhorn, listing everything you've ever done on your resume is a rookie mistake. Job titles and responsibilities matter, but that's not all hiring managers look for. They want to see the tangible results you got working specific, relevant jobs. If you want to make your resume credible and trustworthy enough to land an interview, use numbers. Why numbers? When presented with a wall of text, our brains and eyeballs just can't resist numbers. Did someone ever ask you for money? I bet you don't remember exactly what they said when they asked, but I'm sure you remember how much they asked for. That's why it's so important to add quantitative information about your achievements wherever you can. It's sticky for the reader. Think for a second. How did you make things better at your last job? Did bad things like cost, waste, and calls from that guy that nobody wants to talk to go down? Did good things like sales and customer satisfaction improve? If so, how much? Here's a quick hack to turn the story of your last job into something that'll make your prospective employer's jaw drop. First. Think about what your job title was and what your responsibilities were. Next, think about anything you helped improve. Uh, maybe you helped increase something by 10%, participated in reorganizing five years' worth of crucial data, or were involved with preparing three different events. And finally, try to include the skills you used or learned during these accomplishments. At the end of it all, you're not just reporting your responsibilities, but also demonstrating specific accomplishments and skills you used to get there. That's the difference between a rookie and a pro, and you'll be ready to go pro in no time.